The End Time Battle and Offensive Within the Gate, Chapter 1, Prayer of Communion, I was into my room praying but I could not feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. I was just like a bride begging to feel the presence of her beloved. The bride who loves her husband calls for him because she loves him. I was on my knee for nine hours and did not get up until I felt his embrace. And from so much insisting I felt his presence. I was hugged at that moment. I do not know if it was the Holy Spirit, if you still do not feel this wonderful presence you have to insist, do not stop praying until something happens. I will reveal to you the prayers that please God and give results. Spiritual prayer is the one that expresses the desire to dwell in glory. Prayer in the form of worship that exalts the glory of Jesus. This prayer equals an atomic bomb. Praying for others is an intercession, but the prayer of praising Jesus is stronger because it expresses love for him. Praying for yourself for help or a solution to your life is not strong like the others, but it is biblical. Materialistic prayer is self-interested and unbiblical, which proves the heart is attached to material things. I was in prayer when Jesus showed me a spiritual war being waged, those who lost were imprisoned by demons. They yielded to sin and lost all God-given authority to subdue the demons, those who were overcome by sin became slaves to the demons, and the sin of their lives gave legal ground to the demons to operate, the few who remained in this war managed to neutralize and paralyze demons, Jesus brought a message saying, I do not want my work to be equal to the works of the flesh, tell my people to let the Holy Spirit take over the direction of their lives and complete the work. The church has given pleasure to the flesh, they are warm in my presence. They want to serve me and the world. They mix what is holy with what is of the world, there is no use in wanting to be a saint walking in the practice of the world, those who please me no longer live for the world. They surrender their lives in holiness to me and let me rule their lives, tell my people, do not live an incomplete life in my presence, their double lives do not please me, I want you to live entirely just for me. Fulfilling my word, I do not want a servant who is divided between the world and my ways, I went to my room to pray, in a vision I saw a legion of demons knocking down a plane that killed many people, then I had another vision, I saw a young man from the church where I ministered, going on a motorcycle to a party house. He would prostitute himself with a woman. As he left this house on the way home, I saw a demon entering inside his body. This boy on prostitution opened up legality for possession. He became possessed and the demon that was inside his body, made him lose track and accelerate his motorcycle. The young man struggled against what was inside his body, he could not control the brake and he died in accident. Chapter 2, The Necessity to Join the End Time Battle, There is a spiritual war being fought at this time, I saw with spiritual eyes that the church is part of this war, you were not called just to go all the days in the church and live for just for your family and your personal interests. The church was separated for war, learn to fight and win your day-to-day -day struggles, Jesus told me that most Christians do not know how to fight, and others have great armaments but do not know how to use them against Satan and his demons, the Lord Jesus told me that the church is more concerned to grow in material life, forgetting the spiritual. The church is not marching into the end time war, Jesus said, tell the church to learn to advance in the spiritual world, I am with them, if the church does not advance, the demons will gain more territory, the church will be stopped, lose the action, are with great paralysis and will not go forward, Jesus has told me that materialism has reduced faith, and the modern doctrines of the churches are not nullifying sin, nor fighting divisions among the people and the demons have worked 24 hours with their strategies of cooling of the faith, inducing Christians to the pleasures, encouraging the church to break the alliance affirmed with Jesus, the demonic legions have set up these war planes to destroy the church, Jesus told me, the people have to unite, remain in me, and live my words so they do not lose the war against the devil, the church has to gather under a single war cry, no matter the denomination, Jesus said that he feels pleasure from those who are in his presence. They will overcome Satan, pass the tests and have their strength renewed, those who are worn out by war will have their lives restored and will resist sin. Satan has affected minds with harsh trials, causing an emotional crisis, 
I will restore their wounded souls when you search for me, tell the church that Satan is keeping an eye on the crown of the saved in order to steal, causing many to stray from my path, the Lord showed me in a vision dry pots, he revealed to me the situation of these vessels, which stopped praying and seeking God at dawn, these vessels need sprouts and be filled with the presence of God, I had another vision I saw Satan with the demons laughing at a whole congregation, Satan said to the demons, these people do not frighten me, then I saw a giant foot crushing the church, Jesus told me, this church is under the foot of Satan and dominated by demons, in the vision I saw Satan saying, these dead soldiers do not have the strength to bother us, they cannot fight against us, they are ours and we are waiting for their souls in hell, we will not worry about them there are more important things to conquer, Jesus told me, these people died in their sins, they accepted the lie of Satan, their disobedience have reached another level, they cannot discern what is good and what is evil, for they are nothing in sin, they are blind in their iniquities, tell my church, do not give up the source of wealth that is my grace, those who leave it will be defeated by Satan, but those who remain in it will conquer, and no matter how much Satan tries to stop those who are under grace, success will come their way, chapter 3 spiritual warfare in churches, I was on my knees praying and I had a tremendous vision of spiritual warfare on the surface of the earth and in the space, Satan and his followers barred the angels in the air preventing them from descending with the blessings of the faithful, I saw a war, a battle in the air that was waged, I also saw spiritual warfare between churches and demons on earth, the Lord Jesus said, tell the church to put on holiness, not to lower the rear, keep your hands on the sword, watch and pray, may the fallen rise in the faith, and stand firm against the attacks of Satan, be strong and courageous, even with the whips that cause injury, resist, and if they have no strength to fight, I will heal the wounds and raise up the wounded warriors who will not give up on my path, tell the church to close the rear, for the devil seeks to enter the greatest weakness of the devil is God-fearing and straight church that he walks according to my word, against these churches Satan is a failure, he cannot defeat, but for those who do not watch, Satan will attack to steal your salvation, the devil does not get tired of losing the war, he is always trying my people, he is insistent and he struggles to triumph over the church, tell the church to depend on me, I am your strength, do not exalt yourself, for being spiritual and obedient, Satan finds the weakness in the midst of strength, Samson was strong, in the midst of his strength, Delilah found his weakness and made him fall, the greater the strength of man, his weakness will appear, in the midst of a great spiritual coating, pride arises in the heart which is the weak point that the devil attack, tell the church not to trust in your strength, but in my strength the demons study the strengths and weaknesses of the church and attack to undermine resistances, but those who persevere will receive authority to break down the evil forces and the evil fortresses will be destroyed by the pure and holy church, many use the knowledge to attack their brother and have lacked the strength to attack the evil fortresses and do not use their knowledge to save souls, many have lost heart, are powerless, and fallen in faith. I will give the courage and strength to persevere to the end to all who seek the strength in me, tell the church that your achievements are not material, but spiritual, my winners are not those who conquer the world but who conquer the heavens, many have focused their dreams on the earthly possessions, many have forgotten eternity, and are not positioned against the traps of Satan, I want renunciation and holiness, my path is thorny hard to tread because of the barriers, only those who love me do not give up, chapter 4, prayer the weapon of the end time, the Lord Jesus showed me in the vision another church that prayed for revival, the demons fought against this church, putting obstacles not to receive the revival, the demons placed barriers in their relationships and financial lives, to divert their attention from the revival and to be concerned about their problems, they began to go through great trials in their homes and did not go to the revival prayer in the church, they were stuck in their difficulties, all stopped praying and chilled, they were not prepared to receive power from heaven, and spiritual anointings, conjugal and family barriers, coupled with financial situations, prevented them from approaching God more and conquering their victories, they failed to perform the revival they sought, 
their desires were blocked by trials, the demons were able to impose difficulties and they did not win, the Lord Jesus told me, if they had not given up, I would have taken some of the brethren and empower all those people, the Lord Jesus showed me another church, which was waging war against the legions of demons, the people of this church were a spiritual family, united and were connected in the vine that is the Lord Jesus, edified in the truth, they were not a family of blood, but a spiritual family, whose blood that bound them was the blood of the Lord Jesus. The weapons of attack of this church are evangelism. They entered the territories of the demons and attacked with the word and prayer in the homes of the people, they were vigilant toward God and inspired by the Holy Spirit, and determined to walk on the thorny path of the Lord Jesus and to remain until the end, they did not give up with adversity, they did not stop fighting for souls, they had great leadership and great soul winners, the demons tried to stop and destabilize these warriors with the evil obstacles, but they surpassed, and overcame them, this little army formed was prepared to destroy the evil fortresses of the earth. The Holy Spirit gave authority to this little church to put the demons at their feet, with their authority. They expelled the demons and sent them out, their firearms came from God, they lived praying, renounced the world to break the evil law, practicing holiness and determined to follow the Lord Jesus to the end, they have great resistance to the pressures of the demons and endured the trials, caged churches. The Lord Jesus said to me, in a spiritual war, those who are not armed with the spiritual weapons of God will be dominated by sin and enslaved by demons, they imprison churches in spiritual chains, many Christians are captive, the Lord Jesus showed me in the vision the devil's enslavement of churches, they were chained by sin, all were prisoners of the legions, the demons imprisoned whole churches in a great black cage, I saw other churches, where the demons walked within their hall, they did not fear the Christians there and they walked freely, they did not disturb the demons, they did not frighten them, the Lord Jesus showed me that this church is weak, unequipped in spiritual armor to combat evil, the Lord Jesus told me, today's churches have large numbers of Christians, but they do not have the spiritual conditions to fight the war for two reasons, they have not renounced the world, they are still connected with pleasures, and sin has weakened them, the other reason is that they do not like to pray, which makes it difficult for their spiritual eyes to be opened, without prayer they have no authority against evil, without prayer they become cold, their hearts are filled with carnal desires and they become discouraged, they cannot dominate their flesh, without prayer and holiness they lose the strategies of vanquishing the demons. The church that does not pray is cold, they have no gifts of the Holy Spirit, its spiritual vision does not open, the people are distant from me cannot overcome the flesh and are believers filled with strife, the legions fear a church clothed with power that can pray with humility before me and does my will, churches that think they are self-sufficient do not seek my face, they are easy targets for demons, the Lord Jesus showed me another church, they did not bother with sin, they prostrated themselves before the world, sin had conquered that people, this Christian army is without war general, that is the Holy Spirit that has moved away. These warriors no longer had spiritual ears, they lost the sensitivity of hearing the voice of God, the Holy Spirit was removed from that people, these believers were warned of the evil and danger of Satan, but sin had deafened their spiritual ears and blinded their spiritual eyes, then the Lord Jesus showed me the spiritual situation of that church, their hands were all chained like captives, and the demons held those chains and dragged them to the abyss, they lack the strength to fight back, the sin in their lives had weakened and taken away their strength, the Lord Jesus showed me a church with about 500 members and revealed their spiritual realities, all this army were unarmed, their hands were naked and had not the sword of the spirit, the demons were not frightened of this church, in another vision I saw demons wanting to undermine the forces of true Christians, Satan was preparing their last attacks against the churches, their targets were those who are committed to the truth and live the word, Satan planned to use some of these churches to provoke a rebellion against sound doctrine, and in favor of modern doctrinal reform and liberalism, Satan invests his wiles to divide the people of the holy churches, to divide the body of Christ, causing rebellion against truth. These groups that rebel left the church and draw a crowd away with them, to open temples, 
and impose their carnal doctrines and free of compromises with the truth, according to their vain hearts, chapter 1, my spiritual authority, in my missionary journey I was in a church of a pastor, after my preaching, Jesus showed me in the vision a bottle of olive oil, a lamp, an olive, a burned out lamp, a burnished lamp, and a piece of electric wire, I asked the Lord, what is this? He answered, the church is the light of the world, and the bottle you saw is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The lamp is every believer and the light that shines within the believer is the Holy Spirit that shines within each of them, the electric wire that gives energy to each lamp to give light is my anointing, the servant who does not have my oil will be put out, I am like the electric energy offering light to the lamps, tell the lamps that are extinguished to shine in the darkness, it is time for them to ascend, the end is near, tell the bulbs that are going out that they have to have enough olive oil in their reserves. By the time the oil runs out they will have more oil in their reserve so that they will be able to shine and burn, the world is in darkness, be lit and make a difference, only these lamps that will attract the bridegroom at the time of the separation of the tares and the wheat, the lights in these lamps that you saw are my seal in their lives, the mark of the Holy Spirit, tell the church to be filled with my oil that is my strength within them that will make them shine, Jesus said. I have a very strong bond with my bride on earth, that is why the demons did not destroy the earth, the bridegroom wants the bride by his side and will prepare her to bring near to me, and make her rarest, it will not be long, the bridegroom will appear to free her whom he loves from this world of darkness, I have already demonstrated my love on the cross of Calvary, making a high price, rescuing, washing, purifying and sanctifying, after these revelations, I went to past Ramon, I said, we the church must improve our conduct before God, and prepare for the great events that is to come, the pastor of this church said to me, Pastor Kenzo, when you were sharing your visions to the church, I saw the angel putting a staff in your hand, I asked Jesus, what does this staff mean? The Holy Spirit said, I am increasing his authority in the spirit world, when Pastor Ramon gave me this revelation. I went to pray kneeling near the church chair, I had another vision, I saw a great collision in the spiritual world in the air, there was a great war between angels and demons, I looked at the ceiling of the church and I saw how in the space and the heavenly three angels were battling a legions of demons, Jesus told me, this legion wanted to attack this church, but my angels intervened for them, they are not prepared for war tell the people to prepare against the demonic bombardments they have seen against them, it takes the spiritual structure to withstand and oppose attacks, Satan did not want these revelations to be passed through you to the pastor of the church, the demons are furious with this ministry, because of the revelations that were passed today, tell the church to prepare for the trials, which will come from now on, after Pastor Ramon ended the service, I went back to my house, when I got home, I remembered that Gabriel the son of Pastor Ramon did not come to worship today, his father came to my gate to tell me that his son Gabriel went to visit another church instead of going to the church where I ministered, the pastor said that he tried to persuade his son but he did not want to, he apologized and left, I went into my room and prayed for Gabriel, Jesus showed me in a vision, the demons were not letting Gabriel go to the church of his pastor where I was ministering. I saw him in vision going to another church, Jesus showed me the spiritual conditions of the people of the church where he was going, there was spiritual war inside that church, the demons hit their heads with evil darts, their minds were sick, the demons chased the people in there, I saw the robes of that stained church, they had no authority against the demons, then I saw a demon going towards past Ramon house, in order to kill his son Gabriel that demon had a black rope in his hand, I prayed and asked Jesus to send the angel to arrest and bring the demon who wanted to kill pastor son to my house, immediately I saw the angel that was my helper, flying off like a lightning bolt, he arrested the demon and brought that demon to me, I said, in the name of Jesus Christ you are imprisoned here, you will not reap the life of that young man, that furious demon said, I am going to kill him, he does not live the word of his God, he is rebellious, please release me, the demon was paralyzed with chains of fire and could not move, I remembered the prophecy of Pastor Ramon who said that God would increase my authority in the spiritual world, 
it was being fulfilled at that moment, I saw a black rope in that devil's hand, I said, what is the purpose of this rope tell me, I cannot touch you because you are a spirit, but the auxiliary angel who is by my side can touch you, the demon remained silent and refused to answer my question, I told the helper angel to watch this demon, and then I went to the house of Pastor Ramon to see what was happening there, he had earlier passed me the address of his house, when I got there I knocked on the door, and the pastor's wife opened it, Pastor Ramon was very sad, he told me that his son had drunk alcoholic drinks for the first time and was hospitalized in the hospital, I asked the pastor to come home with me and I said that my companion angel is there in my hotel watching over the demon that is chained, the pastor replied to me, you are crazy. My son is on the verge of death and you keep telling me these things, when we got home I prayed to God, asking him to open the pastor's eyes, at that moment Pastor Ramon began to look strange and pointed his finger at the demon, saying, I see, I said, do not be afraid, he is immobilized, he cannot hurt you, I told the devil, now you're going to tell me your plan to kill that young man. This is Pastor Ramon account of what he saw in the hotel room of Pastor Kenzo, I'm Pastor Ramon, what I'm going to say may sound crazy, but I've seen it with my eyes, I saw a filthy demon, he was immobile inside the missionary's house. He was trapped and no one could touch him because he was a spirit, he was like a wind that we feel but we cannot see, this demon refused to answer Pastor Kenzo question, I was observing this demon when I saw Pastor Kenzo uttering prayer. As a result, fireballs fell from the sky and burned that demon, when the pastor Kenzo approached the devil, a flame of fire came out of his body and burned that monster, he was being tortured for not wanting to reveal his plans, until he said that that rope was to kill my son Gabriel by hanging, it was true my son almost died asphyxiated, he arrived breathless at the hospital and was breathing through the apparatus, pastor Kenzo said that I must fast for my son. He must free himself from sin so that the devil would not touch him, this same demon was furious and said that he still had not given up killing my son, I saw Pastor Kenzo's angel, he is tall and about two meters tall, his wings were huge, he watched the scene, from that day my faith increased, I only knew angels and demons reading the Bible, now I have seen with my own eyes that they exist, beloved, I'm Pastor Kenzo. I will continue to speak my testimony, if I let go of that demon, he would go to the hospital to kill the young Gabriel, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that this young man has to make a quick decision of repentance for God so that this demon would not kill him, I asked the angel of my ministry to take the demon to hell and put him in jail for 24 hours, for this was the time I needed to talk to young Gabriel in the hospital. The angel chained the demon and opened a spiritual hole in the floor of the room, they descended down to hell. The next day Pastor Ramon fasted for the release of his son, we went to the hospital, he was already breathing and could talk, I told him, you still have to make amends today with God so that the demon will not kill you, he said he would agree to make a decision for Jesus, I told him, as of today, you cannot go back to the world anymore there's a demon who'll be waiting for you to do the worldly thing again for him to kill you, Gabriel reconciled with God in the hospital, I went back to my house, after 24 hours the demons came back from hell, he was thirsty for that soul, but he had lost his strength to touch Gabriel because of reconciliation with God, I went home, Jesus showed me in a vision, Pastor Ramon's church in spiritual warfare against the legions of the air, I saw the legions bombarding the church with darts the size of a soccer ball, which looked like black fireballs. These legions were demons of all sizes, 20 centimeters, 1 meter, 2 meters, 4 meters, 10 meters, there were also monsters and dragons casting fires by their mouth to the church, those balls that fire-breathing dragon was vomiting were falling from the sky toward past Ramon's church, and also from the pastor's church. He raised fireballs into the air and hit those demons, many of them when they were hit would become dizzy and fall on the ground, others on the rivers and seas. These fireballs that came up from the church caused great impacts, hitting the demons, they could not resist and fell from the air down, there was a great explosion in the air and on the ground, I witness a bombing exchange between Pastor Ramon's church and the legions and dragons, 
After this vision I went to Pastor Amon's church. He was happy to see me but he was sad, he said, since when you came here and passed the visions to us, the trials have increased. The church went into a two-month prayer purpose every day, his servants could not stand it and they turned away, four became sick and nine went to another church, the pastor said that he was sent away from the company where he worked, he said that Satan owned his boss and caused his boss to fire him from the company, and the wife of the deacon Horace left him with the children and left home, but God gave victory, a revival. The church entered into a very strong communion people were raptured and many were baptized with fire, I remembered when brother Horace invited me to preach in the humble church of Pastor Ramon, to get God's mantle, they paid a very high price and that's what happened to that church, may have asked me why demons do not attack other churches, why are they protected against attacks, I said, the demons do not war against dead soldiers, they do not bother them, they do not have the strength to fight, they are already dominated by the powers of darkness, Satan operates and established his throne where sin dwells, the demons attack strong soldiers who threaten their territories, those who are in activities in the work and expose the deception, upon giving these revelations, I returned to Sweden, where I am living in the city of Malmo, then the angel took me to the clouds where I saw the powers of the air, they looked like a swarm of bees, the sky was dark with so many flying demons, they are terrible and dominate parts of the planet, I saw eight devil's authorities who commanded their territories here on earth, they are located in the north, south, east, west, southeast, northeast, northwest, south, I was praying to God, the Lord Jesus told me, my servant, I want to pour out my anointing, but I need a renewal and revival from my church to multiply my wonders, I want to make my people a force against evil. Chapter 6 The Bond of Prayer After this vision, the Lord told me about spiritual warfare, he said, My servant, prayer is the spiritual bond I have with the church, the more they pray the more the bond becomes stronger and brings the church closer to me, when the spirit of the man unites with the Holy Spirit he becomes sensitive to my voice, and sin has no power in the life of those who pray, prayer will bind the church to me and every day that union will become stronger and it will separate the Christian from sin, the Christian who does not pray, his flesh becomes more attached to the things of the world and distances himself from me, prayer brings the church closer to me, prayer is the church's sign of love to me, so do your part, pray every day, tell the church even if they do not like to pray they should pray anyway, the spiritual connection between heaven and earth is through the Holy Spirit that represents heaven, and the church represents the earth, where two brothers are gathered talking about me, I will be thee, and the conversation is connected to me, even if they study all the doctrines of the Bible, without daily prayer they will not have the strength to walk in holy doctrine, your flesh will not renounce the world, for prayer will mortify the limbs of the body, every day the church fights against the trappings of the world, for that matter pray every day, my people will fight against their own flesh and will learn to control their self, resist the temptations of this world, my servant, deny yourself, be confident in faith, do not give up, do not be frustrated, help the weak to resist the world, those who do not resist the world and it pleasure will slip into the abyss, tell the church that it is by living my word that will make them overcome the air spaces, the holy church is light and where the demons are hidden, my people will shine in the dark and reveal the hidden plans of the devil, whoever obeys me, following the instruction manual of my word, will overcome the legions, do not to let pride grow in the heart, nor be exalted by gifts you have received, humiliation pleases me, but greatness leaves small, and the smallest always goes to be the greatest in my eyes, tell the church to intercede for the weak, prayer destroys the action of demons, cutting off the evil effects of death and destruction of the family, annihilating all control of the mind and heart, the prayer of the righteous has a devastating effect on the spiritual world, I have delivered many lives through the prayers of the saints, Satan has been attacking outside the church and within the church because of the sin that is invading the altars of the churches, the legions have invaded evangelical territories and won many souls, my servants have been silent and are in a comfort zone while the powers of darkness act against them and their churches and ministries, 
sects have worked night and day, daring to win souls, these agents do not stand idly by but act, succeeding in their actions while my church sleeps in a war, there is no tranquility, there are persecutions, war against the legions has to be constant, when the church prays, there is no distance between heaven and earth, I will be so close to them through my Holy Spirit who determines the distance between me and my servants, sin has distanced my Holy Spirit from man, but the prayer of repentance and forgiveness makes my Holy Spirit approach, tell them to keep a life of prayer and I will reveal my heavenly secrets, prayer will strengthen my alliance with the church, where neither the devil nor man can break this covenant, who alone can undo this covenant is the person who made it, servant, whoever loves me live praying, who loves me obeys my word, the prayer of a faithful one neutralizes all the traps and snares of the devil, tell the church not to rest from prayer, chapter 7 the breastplate of justice, the next day I went to a church, the Lord Jesus showed me in a vision, a godly girl, who was firm and walked in righteousness, the youth of the church bullied her and called her strange, the demons threw evil darts into her heart, leaving her with anger and sorrow of many in the church, Every day she was isolated and separated from the rest of the youth, I prayed and rebuked those devils who attacked that young woman, at the end of the service I prayed, and I saw a breastplate coming down from the sky and covering her chest, the Holy Spirit revealed to me and said, today my servant is seen with the breastplate of justice, no evil dart will enter her heart, she is protected, tell her that I have wiped her heart, and she will not have hurt, nor hold a grudge of these people. Today I purify her heart, I approached this girl, past the vision and the revelation of the Holy Spirit, she was happy and approached all who persecuted her treating them well, chapter 5 the devil end time strategy within the gate, beloved Jesus said, I will reveal to you what is happening in the churches, listen and tell mankind, Jesus took my hands and stood me and said, Satan will confront all those who are weak and will use them against the true believer he flees because he cannot resist the truth. I was invited to minister in another church, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that there were people with impure eyes in that place, full of malice even being Christians, watching pornography on the internet, I prayed and asked Jesus to touch those people's eyes and burn them all the evil, I saw angels with their pincers touching the eyes of those people purifying their eyes, to give way to a holy look instead of a malicious glance. After these angels' activities, people felt their eyes burn, in a vision, I saw their eyes like a flame of fire, it was the purification that was happening, I told the church everything that was happening there, a week later I went back to the same church and these people who were purified told their releases, never again did they watch pornography, their eyes could not bear to look at immoral things since that day. Chapter 6, Strategist Demons and Sociologist Demons I had another vision, I saw demons hidden in places where the Christians could not see them acting, they launched surprise and cunning attacks, I saw the evil forces acting, and many Christians were not ready for war, they were coated spiritual armor and could not win their battles, I saw some brothers who were pillars, the demons attacked to bring them down in sin in order to overthrow them but they stood still and did not fall, they did not lower the guard, succeeding in winning. I also saw the devil overcoming many Christians through sin, they had no Holy Spirit. Their struggles against the devil were futile, they could not win the war. I have also seen many Christians, being deceived by the millennial intelligence of Satan, they fell into armed snares, these demons are strategic in their attacks on Christians, these demons are strategist, I saw demons infiltrating the minds of the brethren to control them, many were unprepared and were surprised by demons, they were caught without waiting, they did not watch, they fell into the trap, every demon knew of their weaknesses, these demons could not overthrow those brethren who were forewarned and full of Holy Spirit, where they trampled on, their feet had a fire, the demons did not come near them, in the vision, I saw the demons wanting legality to enter, but they could not, the demons wanted to break the union of the brothers, but they did not find spaces. The demons had a plan to induce brothers to congregate in this church. These brothers had left their churches because of problems and went to congregate in this united church. They were rebellious brothers, and the devil entered the bosom of the church through them. 
they caused contention and disunity. These demons succeeded in breaking the union, causing hatred. They were unnoticed. The church did not watch and pray against the enemy and fell. The church was weakened, and the demons have capitalized on their weaknesses. Those churches were not like spiritually organized armies. These demons worked within the spiritually disorganized churches. These demons entered into marriages, betrayal, and finances. This is because the people do not pray, do not watch, and do not sanctify themselves. I also saw the demons researching many churches, analyzing their strengths and weaknesses. They studied every people to destroy that ministry. I will expose errors of these churches, so that other churches do not make the same mistakes, and do not come to serve like a demon's nest within the church. I will also speak of the spiritual qualities of some churches that I saw in the vision. These ministries deserve to be the example of other sleeping churches. These churches I saw in the vision bothered the demons. These churches organize for the great spiritual battle if they put on the power of God, live in prayer, renounce the world and live a holy life. Spiritual warfare is fought, and the enemy is active. The pastor must organize his army. This war will only end when Jesus will take us away. God showed me the lives of Christians. They were dead in sin. Their spiritual lives died for not giving up sin. I saw an angel of the Lord entering a church but the angel covered his nose, for the stench of carrion was immense because of sin. The Holy Spirit revealed to me that in this church, the people had a hard heart of stone and that the word of God had not penetrated their hearts. There are churches that are smelly because of sin, brethren in vision, I saw a large army of demons ready to attack. They are well organized, unlike churches that are not spiritually organized to win. This battalion of demons focused their attack only on those kinds of churches that bothered and mattered to them. These troops of demons of destruction worked hard to destroy the six foundations of the church, holiness, and purity, obedience and submission to God, prayer, and knowledge of the truth. My vision went to another church. God told me, here in this ministry there are no conflicts and tensions, all personal problems are solved. No one here brings their problems into the church. As they enter the house of prayer, they immerse in worship. I saw millions of people sick spiritually, deceived and walking down a path of false happiness. I saw the demons infested air. When my spirit left the body and went to heaven, I could see spiritual things that my fleshly eyes could not see, and I realize that we fight with enemies that we cannot see. Let's prepare the church with the shield of faith, a sword with word and prayer. I saw a sword of fire descending from the sky and turned into a Bible. A voice said, Win souls with my word, fight Satan, handle my sword, wherever my word is, demons have fled. This book you saw is a powerful weapon, filled with ammunition of consuming fire, which does not come from the earth, came from the heavenly mansions. Each verse is a weapon that can be used against Satan, fight with it, defend and attack the invisible enemies. The mishandling of the swords, I also saw several shepherds with their swords at their waist. I asked the Lord what this means. The Lord answered me, they are the ones who know the word and do not practice it. I saw masters and doctors of theology with their hands imprisoned and the demons dragged them into the abyss. The Lord said to me, all those who acquire the deep knowledge of the scriptures and do not practice the word are chained by the demons and dragged into the spiritual prisons of this world. I have given the sword of my word to be handled. All who do my word is managing the word in his life. The demons cannot arrest a warrior who knows how to use my word in his life. Knowledge without practices is dead works. When the Lord said these words I remember the theologian Dami who asked me to pray. I was powerless to teach. When I laid my hands on his head, a demon manifested. He fell to the ground and twisted. I expelled the demon in his life. The night I went to church. When the worship ended I made a prayer and a teenager fell into a demonic manifestation. His heart stopped. I saw a demon take the soul from his body to hell. I rebuked that demon in the name of Jesus. A ball of fire came out of my mouth and hit that demon. He released the soul of that young man. That young man had died. 
he did not breathe. The church saw his state lying on the ground. He was dead, but when that demon loosed the soul of that young man, the soul of that young man returned quickly to his body. He rose from the dead. The whole church glorified God. My vision went beyond to a new revelation. I saw Satan entering various churches and looking for lives to work. I watched the demons looking for this brother's weakness. They worked in the weaknesses of this brother to overthrow him. Many believers who did not correct their lives were easy targets. I saw demons pulling people out of serious churches committed to the salvation of souls, leading them to worldly churches. Other demons took people out of churches that performed deliverance and threw them into the world. Their purpose is to drive people away from men full of anointing and who preaches the truth, leaving people away from the Holy Spirit. This hindered salvation of many since the demons know that every word that comes from the mouth of an anointed servant breaks the spiritual chains. I saw devils working within the churches making brethren to scandalize the gospel. They did not watch and grieve the new converts, taking them away from the church. These demons' tactics of making leaders uh, make the new converts return to the world. Satan commanded the demons to work within the gutters of each church. I saw darts entering the minds of the people inside the churches. Those darts disturbed people reading the word. Many had no faith and many people who received these darts in their minds began to pay attention to their brothers' and sisters' mistakes, and they ignored the word preached. These people were marked in their minds and left speaking evil of the preacher and the church. The church is a field where the demons enter and do battle in the minds of the attendees. I saw the demons enter the churches. I saw devils working within the families, other demons using the neighbors to test the believers. The neighbors themselves slandered these believers for not believing in their conversions. Our struggle is not against our neighbor. We are measuring forces against evil. Jesus can fight the devil who holds the people captives to him. We are not in captivity and we can fight the forces of evil. Our attack against our enemy is our prayers, fastings, vigils, consecrations and a holy life. The devil is bold, he has entered into churches to deceive with false prophecies, false preaching, and revelations. The ministers of truth are retreating being entangled within their churches by the spirit of lying. The demons are gaining ground within our churches. We are in a battle. We cannot retreat. We must defend holy words and attacking lies, deceit, and sin. We must be prepared, for the days are dark. The devil cannot resist the truth and the power of God. I saw demons laying walls in the way of various believers. The believers stood in front of the barriers and did not walk forward anymore. There were few brothers who made the barriers of their brothers fall and went onward. The Holy Spirit revealed to me, it is easier for the Christian to win in their material and sentimental lives than to walk the path of salvation. The demons do not want the salvation of anyone. They know what they have lost. The believers who break down barriers in their ways are true war soldiers. They will go through the path of grace to the rapture. They will be clothed with anointing. They have been tried in the fire to be approved by God, no matter the trials. They resist and go in search of heavenly achievements and rewards. Those believers who do not pursue because of the barriers placed by demons did not surrender their lives completely to God, having a connection with the world, offering room for the demons to prevent them from advancing. Angel of Light